a very small test of this DC to DC converter bought in China. Type number, this is the type number ZKG5XV2. Uh, it looks very, very beautiful. That's the first thing that I have to say. And well, we are there are a lot of knobs here. Interesting knobs. Uh, ways which you can set the output voltage. And I've connected now at the moment only two resistors of 1K in series. That means 2K, 2000 ohms. Uh, I've set the voltage to 7 volts. But of course, say you can lift up that voltage by Oh, this is the power supply where it is uh, supplied off. That is 24 volts. That's completely okay. So it measures that uh, input voltage. Okay. Uh, push the other button. Now we are on the output uh, voltage. That's here. This is the output. Are the output electrodes? And anyway, uh, let's try. Uh, this knob is not very very clear, but anyway, let's try further here. Well, you can see the C set the output voltage. That's not bad, of course. Now we are on eight volts, etc., etc. Uh, uh, I don't want to go too high because I want to uh, connect an small bicycle lamp. So that means that we go to 6 volts. And that's no problem at all. Works very good. But there's one big problem with this circuit and that is the noise and say all the frequencies that are generated inside this DC to DC converter. Uh, you can see here the, the back side coil of course. I think it works somewhere in the 50 kilohertz range, 60 kilohertz range. I'm absolutely not sure but anyway it looks very okay but um, there's a lot of noise at the output and here you see that noise and it is at, at the moment when the circuit does not have any load at its output it's approximately say 20 millivolts at an output of 6.6 .6 volts well let me connect the incandescent lamp. That's the first thing to do. Incandescent lamp. So now the incandescent lamp is connected. Here you can see it lights up properly. Oh well, of course. Some anyway. Let's try it again. No problem. Here it lights up again. Uh, again, 6.6 .6 volts. That means a good stabilization of that voltage. But we see now this noise parallel to that lamp, incandescent lamp, on the oscilloscope. And that means that this unit is absolutely not usable. Uh, for audio circuits, not usable for radio circuits. Uh, we see here a kind of sawtooth wave with peaks, overshoots, etc. etc. That's very, very bad. But let me try to connect an electrolytic capacitor.
parallel to that incandescent lamp and see if we can smooth that a little bit out. Well, let's try. Always important. Of course, everything takes time. And now, uh, uh, connect a smoothing capacitor of 1000 microfarad to that uh, incandescent lamp. So, here's that incandescent lamp again. Here is a 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Well, the, the noise is dropped down somewhat, but uh, not much. So it means that even when you try to smooth out such a, a DC to DC converter, this type number out of China, uh, it will not succeed. You can use this for instance to charge a car battery. In that case there, there's no need um, that the uh, that there are say high frequent noises and high frequent pulses on that car battery no problem at all so useful useful to charge say a nickel cadmium battery etc etc but the whole id the whole circuit is absolutely not usable for audio or radio circuits Thanks for watching. I want to keep this video very short, so I will now disconnect here that electrolytic capacitors. Look at the scope at the same time, see what happens. Well, not so much happens. Uh, that also means that, uh, say, smoothing out the output voltage. Uh, via a electrolytic capacitor uh, makes no sense. Try it again. I will try it again because perhaps I'm say uh, doing things wrong. Try it again. Hear the noise on the output. And here the lamp that's burning. Here the current that is taken out for 130 milliampere. That's absolutely okay. Voltage measurements and current measurements are in my ID very precise. But um, this is the problem again much noise, so in fact a uh, not usable DC-DC converter. Anyway, thanks for watching again. This was all. And well, uh, you can never be sure when you buy such a circuit that it will function properly for, say, the more sensitive uh, electronic circuits. And I'm almost sure that even, say, um, uh, digital circuits uh, cannot work properly with this DC, DC converter because they generate, it generates on the power supply lead all kinds of strange pulses. Say that can activate um, digital circuits etc. Thanks for watching.